So we went to Fiji about a year ago, and just before leaving, they had a drug shortage in a medication I'd been on for over 30 years. So we substituted a similar medication in that drug class. I was at the end of dive number 1078 when I started getting short of breath. And Joan was, was uh, making her motions for her three minute safety stop and wanting to go up. And so I went up with her and she went ahead and got uh, up the ladder and took her gear off up there. Got on the boat, couldn't catch my breath, heard the gurgles in my lungs and thought, I know exactly what this is. I'm a hyperbaric physician. I pass board questions on this. The boat sped for shore. I required about five hours of oxygen and intravenous diuretics before I was better. So we added another medication to my regimen and I have now, for the first time in 48 years, had normal blood pressures both at rest and exercise. And then about a month ago, I got my results back from Rx Match and it explained why on dive number 1078, I had such a severe reaction to the drug substitute for my usual drug, which was in shortage. And I'm now on the right medication because I was able to get personalized medical care. It was like, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> now we know what's going on. We don't just have to look at these large, randomized, multi-center studies. We can look at what's personalized for the individual patient and adapt our medical care to that. It looks at the various genes, and we all have variation in our genes, and how they process or metabolize medications, and helps you pick the best match so that you don't have to find out like I did that the wrong match almost cost me my life. <laughs>